Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm about to unbox the V60 ThinQ 5G dual screen phone from LG. I'm very grateful that I happen to have friends over there, which kind of surprises me because I didn't think I had friends, but I do have friends. So, this unboxing will just be that an unboxing and generally first impressions straight out of the box. Links are in this video's description to where you can get yours. And apparently, there are two of these available. Well, not two in general. I mean, there's more than just two. Again, check out the links. There's one edition that's dual screen and another edition that's just one screen. That'll make sense as I continue with this unboxing. So thank you for bearing with. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out. By the way, I love the box already because it's it's black. I don't know. For some reason, black is, is my color. Like as far as t-shirts go, as far as gadgets go, as far as any of this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and slide her out. Oh, by the way, did you, did you notice something on that box? 5G. This is my very first 5G device. So I, I, I'm, kind of, uh, I'm kind of excited. In fact, I mean, I'm not trying to take away from the dual screen capabilities of the, uh, the V60 at all. Uh, but I am probably more excited about 5G. Then again, I am kind of excited about having two screens too. But you don't really have to choose because you can have two screens and 5G. Okay, so I'm not going to choose. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one out of the box. Nice and tall. Taller than me, as a matter of fact. I, see, if I, I, that's why I had to sit down. Because otherwise the, uh, the phone would completely upstage me. It's, it's, that's uh, <laughs> it's a tall phone. Uh, obviously, I've not taken it out of the package yet. Uh, you can see the wrapping is still on here. I don't think it, it'll, you know, be uh, instantly, uh, you know, uh, available to me, the 5G thing, the connectivity, or all the features specifically on this particular device. But I do want to talk through a few of the features, um, even though I'm not going to do a, a, a total deep dive, and this is obviously not a review. Uh, we've got the SIM uh, card ejector tool. I love these. I collect these. I, not only do I collect Star Wars stuff... I collect SIM, uh, SIM card, SIM tray ejector tools. Uh, the uh, welcome start guide here and uh, terms and conditions, which I'm sorry, I'm not going to read the terms and conditions. I know that might excite a few of you. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling like reading the terms and conditions. So this is, to me, probably the most fascinating thing about what LG has done. I mean, yes, okay, 5G. We got that, you know, we, we've said that, right? We're excited about that. I think, you know, that's going to be the future. Everything's going to be fast and connected. But, you know, I, I, I didn't realize this uh, in, 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 until, um, you know, I kind of had a, a brief walkthrough. Uh, the, the device itself is not inherently dual screen. And, and quite honestly, as far as I am concerned, that's okay. I, I, I kind of like that flexibility because to this point, a lot of the dual screen or so-called dual screen or foldable devices out there haven't necessarily captured my attention. I'm, I'm still a little concerned about that. Um, so here we have the instructions, how to install the dual screen, how to remove the dual screen. You got to be very, very careful about that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the rest of it here. So just, hang on, let me slow down. Kind of feel my way around this. They've got a tab up there. Okay. Just gonna, I'm going to pull it off like that. Then. So this is right here. As I put a little of my spittle on it. Don't worry. This is It's protected over the internet. You're not going to get my allergies. My, uh, my decongestant just wore off like a half hour ago. So if I start coughing and sneezing, that's why. This is the V60 right here. This case is effectively what houses uh, the second screen, which, of course, is powered by this particular, the, the V60, this, this, this phone, right? But this case, the case is what makes the case for the V60, right? So as I pointed out at the very beginning, we got the V60 ThinQ 5G dual screen. So you could buy this phone, the, the solo screen, one screen, independent of, effectively, this package right that what was what what came in this particular uh box um so that's to me i was like all right that's that's a unique take and you know you may not need 
uh, all the power of, of a dual screen. And you may not necessarily need this case if you just want to fly solo, you could take this phone out. The, the, this particular, this, this is the phone right here. This is the case right here. And by the way, it had materials and a quick start guide. I should probably read the quick start guide, but I'm not going to. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to, okay, I've got the, uh, the protector there on that second screen. It's very svelte. The second part, uh, the screen effectively is, is super thin because it's just the screen. Like in terms of like measurement, couldn't tell you. It just feels very, very thin. Maybe not paper thin, but super thin as far as the screen is concerned. Because usually you have a screen attached to the rest of the device. So the second screen is just that, and it stays with the case, right? So uh, that's the case uh, for the case. I am going to look through to make sure I've got everything. I, th I, th I think I did. Mostly everything, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take the cellophane off of that. Be very careful as we slide the device in to the USB-C port. Push it um, into its place. Uh, find... I should have looked to see where the power button was before I <laughs> put sliding it in. Give me a second. Oh, I found it! That wasn't too hard. Uh, the LG V60 ThinQ 5G right there. Powered by Android. Now I guess the time should come for me to remove the second cellophane layer cellophane cellophane layer welcome new second screen select how the new second screen will look in lg apps insert sim card i don't have one in here because obviously i just i just removed it from the box right there uh, i'm going to skip wi-fi for now because otherwise it may take a little longer than i need for an unboxing uh, okay, so it's asking me to adjust the time. Okay, I'm Eastern Standard Time, because I'm going to go through and adjust all this anyway when I do get it connected. Uh, we'll go ahead and send it diagnostics and what have you. Accept. Secure the phone. It's got a built-in fingerprint uh, reader, which, by the way, will come in very handy uh, these days with uh, more and more people wearing masks. Face ID, not so impressive anymore. So, uh, I'll... I'll worry about that later. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about this right now. Skip anyway. I will get to it uh, when I do a full setup. Uh, okay. So do I have to agree to everything? Yes, I have to agree. I'm, I don't know what I'm agreeing to. What am I agreeing to? W what did I just agree to? Select home screen. So we've got home and app drawer. I always prefer the app drawer, right? As far as like, and I, of course I can go back and and set that up again. Um, move what's showing on one screen to another or swap what's on both screens. And I think you use three fingers to move the apps back and forth. Uh, there's the menu here. Turn on dual screen. Firmware update. Oh, look at that. It's got a firmware update already. Wow. Wait a minute. I'm not even connected. How did it know? Firmware's up. That's impressive. Like it's updating. I, I'm not even connected that I know of. I'm not connected. Maybe I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> At least I don't think I am. I got five bars, though. Whatever it is. Maybe I am connected. Dang! Woo! Woo! Hang on. I got I got another question for everybody here. Um, I'm going to find out as I uh, pull up settings. Uh, it's asking me if I want to learn how to use gestures. Not right now. About phone. <gasps> Android version 10! <laughs> that... I'm in. I'm happy. Now, this uh, does not have like a super high refresh rate as far as the screen's concerned. It's got two screens to manage. Uh, but, or at least, you know, in the, the ultimate configuration of the V60. Uh, and, and, you know, that's, I, I think, a good trade-off, right? Because there are certain scenarios where you're going to want two screens. And hopefully I'll, I'll walk through that in uh, as soon as, uh, yeah, no SIM is found. So I don't have a SIM card in there right now. All right, let me see if it'll turn on now. Turn on dual screen. Yeah, look at that! Ah, it's a dual screen phone. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Whoa. I like that screen, man. That is sharp. I love the colors on that screen. Now, it's difficult to translate that when you're doing a video. Uh, but uh, this is another thing I like. You close the device, and you get all the information that you might need. Notification icons, date, time. I love that. Because how many times do you look at your phone specifically to see the time? Now, if you have a phone that has happens to have like an always-on display, uh, it's not as big of a deal. Uh, but you know, certainly having it with the phone closed is nice. 
Uh, another thing to note, yeah, it does have a bit more uh, thickness to it compared to a standard single smartphone, just the V60 itself. But um, the thing is, you have a second screen, okay? That's a big deal. In between, uh, in, uh, you know, seeing a device that has, you know, ostensibly a big screen as it folds out versus having two separate screens... Um, it's going to be very interesting, interesting, I should say, uh, to dive into this, or as I dive into this, uh, to just, you know, explore, uh, you know, further, uh, to see what the options uh, might very well be. So this particular menu that I keep popping up here, you've got the, the ability to swap screens instantly. Uh, it says you can use app access of both screens with wide view. Uh, so effectively, you know, if I were using something like Google Maps, I can stretch it out to both the screens instead of just one, which might be helpful. Of course, you do have that divider in the middle, but, you know, how many times have you needed more screen? When you needed more screen. It's nice. It's, it's right there when you need it. And when you don't need it, you don't necessarily have to use it. Uh, you can flip the app. So if I was using an app on one screen, I could flip it to the second screen uh, or uh, flip it uh, the other way around. Uh, I could put the main screen to sleep, uh, as it suggests, or of course then uh, d dive in or turn off the dual screen as I, I had also just turned it back on. So let's go ahead and open up the camera. I'm just curious. I, I like taking pictures with my phones. I don't know how many other people do. By the way, it has me, uh, it's, it's saying uh, learn how to use gestures. I, I may have to dive into that, of course, as I begin to use it, but it's talking about how you can change camera modes here, uh, tagging locations. Let's go ahead and do that later. Uh, try shooting at different angles by loading the shooting screen on the main screen on the dual screen. Okay, so let's see here. If I so if I if I do can I can I oh I see. If I press that button, look at that. So it's mirror mode. Shoot at various angles while viewing the camera on both screens. That's interesting. You know what else is interesting? The fact that I can flip it all the way around, right? Not that I would specifically with the camera app, but, you know, it makes a nice little kickstand if I needed to, right? Use it as a kickstand. How many times have you needed that? How many times have you needed to, like, prop up your device? Uh, so that's an interesting little feature. Um, a mirror. And then you can flip modes, of course. Portrait mode, which is kind of standard these days. Sticker. Uh, video, of course. It does record up to 8K video, which may be important uh, for a few of you. And then, of course, it's got the uh, the, the zoom. Although I'm a little... Uh, the zoom, I, I guess I don't use as frequently as I, I would imagine I would, would possibly use the zoom. But the camera is certainly a, a full-featured uh, uh, camera application, as you would expect. I appreciate the finishing touches, too, with the, the, the corners being rounded. It just makes for a cleaner feel as, as far as this camera uh, preview is concerned. But isn't that nice? The fact that you can actually take advantage of, with the LG apps, taking an instant advantage uh, of the dual screen capabilities of the phone right out of the box. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty outstanding. Of course, I'm not going to go into too many uh, customizations here. Uh, one of the things it, that it notes you can do, let's go ahead. And it's not going to do much right now because I am not connected to the internet. But let me see here. If I pull this down... Uh, I've got comfort view screen recording built in, which is nice. Uh, we have, let's see here. I'm just beginning to learn how to use this. Screenshot. So I can take a screenshot here easily enough, mark it up. These are all LG tools, but they thought about just about everything that you might need uh, with uh, uh, using a device like this. In fact, you can take a screenshot uh, from the other screen as well. So like the the, the LG apps like uh, or the apps that are compatible with this particular uh, type of configuration, uh, you could uh, uh, easily manage uh, information from one screen from the next. So they've definitely thought through a lot of uh, the software. So one of the things that I definitely wanted to try is this. So if I rotate it, see if I need to... Unlock orientation. No, it's set there. Okay. So let me open up an app. What would be a good app? Um, notes of some kind or messages? Let's go into messages. No messages. Tap to compose a new message. Okay. So now split keyboard. No. But if I open up messages here, there we go. Oh, nice. Dual screen. So I, I, I should be able to, um, in tools, open up the keyboard in dual screen. So the bottom bottom screen becomes a keyboard in, in an application, although I'm still learning where all these particular features are. Here we go. That's it. Okay, I found it. I found it. I, it didn't take that long. Sorry if that's too bright for you. Let me go ahead and dim it a bit. Ah, come on. Dim. 
Damn. Oh, it's on auto. Ha! No auto. There we go. How about that? Okay, let's go there. And look at that. The keyboard. So you want a full keyboard there? Yeah. Ah! I tell you, they've got everything. So you could you could have the keyboard on a separate screen. So if you're doing a lot of typing, you know, and you don't want to use your thumbs in, in this orientation, and you want to use it in this orientation, uh, you can. That's the LG keyboard. But of course, I, I'd imagine that over time, you know, other uh, pieces of software would adapt uh, to uh, this particular uh, type of configuration, if not Android itself, as it rolls forward with uh, supporting a variety of, uh, of devices and configurations in its own ecosystem. Uh, there's also something called Wide View, and for that, let's see here, I'm going to go to, let's do this. I'm going to take a really bad photo of myself. Like, that's bad. Ooh, that's really bad. I wish the device could do a better job at making me not look horrible. That's I, w I wish that existed. Uh, if I go, and you can move that menu around, swap screens. Can I do a wide view here, or is wide view only available in certain other apps? I was seeing if I could do see the photo across both screens. Uh, it may be um, available only in certain configurations, or certain applications. I'm probably making it do things that I don't, that it, it's not designed to do. Um, but, you know, hey, I'm playing with it. I'm trying it for the first time. What do you expect? And if it looks dim to you, it's also dim to me because I, I try to make it so that you could at least see what I was wanting to, to show you with the keyboard. Uh, there's an interesting little feature called My Pick App, uh, and that allows you to choose an app whenever dual screen is turned on. So you can automatically have it open, let's say, the Google Play Store or the HD Audio Recorder, or and which is important because it's an LG device. So you know you're going to have HD audio options, and this device is certainly... Uh, we'll have that it does have that as well including the 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 DAC the DAC uh, so you could set it the my pick app allows you to set uh, any particular app that's installed uh, to automatically uh, launch which again could come in handy so it's another little configuration uh, that you uh, may be interested in um, you could also use both screens uh, with uh, multiple applications you can turn on dual screen and then you could swap the what what's on one screen with the other so if I open that on that one, that app on one side, and this app on the other, I could easily show main screen, swap screens, and then it basically reverses it. Very easy to do. Um, that was pretty straightforward. Uh, so yeah, I mean, th this is a that's just kind of the, the the top level, like the high level features that I definitely wanted to show off. Uh, there's another thing that you can do, uh, and I can't seem to find any right now at least off off the uh, the default install uh, but for many game application you can use the uh, the screen as effectively a gamepad so you'd start the game from the dual screen app uh, you click game tools for gamepad and then you could change like the the gamepad itself you know like you know you've seen game controllers uh, but you could effectively change between a variety of, of pads or create one to my uh, that's my understanding uh, of, of how that particular tool works. If not, uh, then certainly being able to use that second screen as a gamepad could come in handy, especially if you do a lot of mobile gaming and you feel somewhat restricted that you're you're actually keying or you're 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 uh, uh, touching upon the uh, uh, the very game that you're playing, which to some you know may be kind of exciting. But you know when you need that much more screen real estate for the actual game, uh, it would be nice. Now I don't happen to have, like I said, this is just straight out of the box. This is straight up install, uh, so I don't think I, I see any particular games there. But they'll go right there, HD audio recorder, um, best audio that you could probably record on a mobile device, to my knowledge. Uh, there, oh, game launcher. Hang on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we do have we do have some games here. Asphalt Nine. I'm I'm not great. LG Gamepad. Look at that. Oh. LG Gamepad works only with games that support the physical gamepad. For other games, you can you create a custom gamepad. So that's what I was talking about. But look at this. I got the controls right there. So, uh, uh, okay, so I I didn't see. I was looking for the game icons, but LG cleaned it up so nicely. They didn't, like, scatter. It's just literally, these are all the games. Oh, uh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, and then the game launches up there, and then you got your uh, control down there. I'm not going to sign in right now, so I may have to skip that. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show... Uh, they've got the uh, the browser whale. 
uh, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to demonstrate this without not ha without not without having an internet connection. Uh, but one of the things you can do with the browser that LG's made, the Whale browser, or at least the one that that that, that, that they've got, I believe, on this particular device. I'm looking to see if I can actually find the icon for it. Gosh, I'm not great with my icons, am I? There we go. Whale for LG dual screen. Uh, that's asking for permissions. Done. That's fine. Welcome to Naver Whale. Okay. Oh, I, I have to agree to all the terms and conditions. Hope that's... Uh, okay, wide view. Look at that. The selected app is expanded on both screens by turning on wide view button is provided on the dual, dual screen two tool. And this looks like this is for LG. So right now, out of the box, dual screen supported in Whale, Chrome, Gmail, Google, Maps, Photos, YouTube, and YouTube Music. Okay, let's go ahead and turn all those on. So there we go. Those things are supported with the, the, dual, uh, d the dual screen. Now what's interesting to me, given that this is a device from LG... These are these are first party tools from from LG enabling effectively third party tools Google Google Photos Google Maps uh, the Google app Gmail Chrome uh, so that is actually ra rather fantastic uh, to see um, because you know that's not always the case when it comes to um, these types of devices uh, I'm going to start without sign in and let's see what we got here. Quick bar. Pull, oh, I still got the gamepad over here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Um, didn't need the game controller over there anymore. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that's something that I think is um, you know uh, a, a valid uh, a, a valid uh, feature to have. Uh, if only because usually uh, when you've got an ecosystem that's got the hardware developers. And the hardware developers are also developing software that's running on top of the software that Google's provided. Sometimes it can be a little awkward. And, you know, it seems just at a glance that LG has bridged that gap. Uh, I mean, if they've got their own tools, of course, like LG Health or LG Pay or messaging, phone, you know, some of the basics. But the fact that they enabled those, uh, the dual screen um the dual screen feature specifically to be with uh, available to, to, to Google uh, is outstanding. Uh, but Whale uh, also allows you to effectively use, you can use two search engines at the same time. You can even scroll through a list of, like let's say you're looking at Amazon search results. You could uh, be scrolling through the list and when you opened, let's say, an item of a search result, it could open in the second screen. So you can keep scrolling the search results, but see the items that you selected on a completely different screen rather than having to dive in deeply to each one. So, you know, the more you spend on your phone uh, and less on your, uh, like, let's say, traditional laptop or, or desktop computer, the more likely you're going to be, uh, you know, a, a user of this type of device, needing that second screen when it was needed. And, and, and again, that's that's... That's what you got to think about is when it's needed and when you might like it. And that, to me, I think is the uh, uh, the beautiful part about what LG's done here uh, because, you know, as I've, as I've shown, this the phone goes in and out of the case that happens to have the screen. So this is probably the most, I want to say this, probably one of the most powerful phone cases I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> it's got a screen that is, like, built in and software that is optimized and understands you have that screen. Software, Android 10. Thank you, LG. Oh, that's so nice to see. I got to tell you. I got to tell you, out of the box, latest version of Android, that's I, that's a that's a rare feat, honestly. I did a knock-knock, and it opened up. Look at that. Ah, it's a two screen. Oh, wow. I bet you anything, uh, Jedi's going to get a hold of this, and she's, she's not going to let go. I don't think she's she, she's gonna she might want to play with this one. Uh, you know, I have to get him to see. I have to see if LG can support something like ABC Mouse, because <laughs> that's all we really uh, you know. That and the camera uh, are the the two uh, device uh, the two features that uh, Jedi usually uses uh, when they're uh, um, uh, when she's using a phone that she hasn't used in in some time. So it's gonna take you know a, a, a bit of playing around, uh, if only to uh, better uh, you know dive into the features that are on this particular device that I haven't bothered to set up. This is just kind of initial impressions and the initial walkthrough. Uh, let me see if I'm missing anything. I mean, you've seen the specs. I, I really don't, I don't care to rattle off uh, too much of the specs. Uh, but if, it, let me see if I'm missing anything. I, I will, I will rattle that off. 
Uh, I mentioned the in-display fingerprint sensor, which I'm a fan of. I'm, I'm a, you know, I like the fingerprint. I mean, I like Face ID, don't get me wrong. But there's times that I kind of wish I had one or the other. So I, I, between the two, I think I like the fingerprint more than I like the face. Certainly I like my fingerprint more than I like my face. I don't think LG had anything to do with that. But um, So, you know, whether you're using it for, for entertainment, whether you're using it for gaming, using it for productivity, that dual screen comes in handy when you need it. And it's when you don't have it that you wish you did. Think about this. Let me ask you. I'm just straight up. Because this is the scenario, right? You've got your regular old phone, your single screen phone. How many times do you wish you had just a little more real estate? Just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, maybe you, maybe you needed a kickstand, right? Well, yeah, you could get a case for that, but does that case have a second screen? That's the thing. When you need it, it's there. That's pretty darn impressive, if you ask me. Um, so, I've mentioned that. Oh, yeah, so three, 360 degrees, effectively. Um, the fact that it wraps all the way around, so it's kind of foolproof. In that sense, it feels sturdy. Yeah, it's going to have some heft to it, but it's a case with a second screen and a full phone in there, like a full smartphone in there. Uh, it is 6.8 inch screen. That's the measurement of it. Uh, I mentioned uh, I mentioned the H uh, the 8K video recording, which may be important to you. HDR10 plus screen. Uh, I'm going to look here. Oh, four microphones, which is important. I may actually use this uh, for recording. Uh, They've also got a setting for voice bokeh, so to focus in on um, just the, the voice. This is the software that LG has. Um, they, they've really done a lot with audio, uh, you know, more so than I've seen on previous devices that I've used that LG has provided, uh, which, again, you know, when you need it, you need it. There have been times that I've needed to record audio, and all I had was this, my, this device. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I need something better. That's the, they'll, they'll tell you audio. My audio right now may not be great. It could probably be better. Uh, but uh, the fact that they've kind of baked that in, it, it, it this kind of becomes a better production tool. Maybe not just with the visuals, but certainly with the audio. So if video is important to you, audio should probably be just as important. Because that's what they'll say. They'll say, you know, your video may not be great, but if your audio sounds good, people will continue to tune in. Uh, they'll continue to listen. Let's see here. Um, I'm, I'm just scrolling through a list of the features to see what pops out to me. A uh, 5,000 uh, milliamp hour battery. Quick charge 4.0. So you can get a, a quick 30 minute uh, charge, uh, you know, to get your device up to uh, uh, 50%. Uh, it's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, so it is fast and it kind of needs to be. Uh, I mean, you got, it's supporting, one device supporting two screens. The only thing the only thing I would ask for is a higher refresh rate. That I gotta tell you, that spoils you when you got a device that runs like 90 frames per second or like 120 frames per second. It's hard to go back to 60. It's really hard. Like it is challenging to go back to 60. That would just man, that would kick this thing into overdrive. Absolutely. Um, I mentioned, of course, that it has 5G. Android 10. Uh, those things are kind of exciting. Those are things that I wasn't expecting, right? Out of the box. Android 10. I mean, yeah, out of the box, I would expect 5G because it says it right there on the box. I, I kind of want to see. I want to see what all this 5G hubbub is about. What is it? What is this? What is it? Is it, is it really? Is it? Am I, am I in the future? Am I living in the future? I kind of feel like I got two screens. I'm actually, you know what? Can the, Does this count as a screen? The, out, the outside part? Does that count as a screen? So it's more like a... Three screen device? They'd never say that. <laughs> I'm saying it right now, though. Look, three screen. Okay, two, two and uh, two and three quarter. No, two and one quarter. <laughs> Is that fair? Even says it right there. LG dual screen, so you know. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all the updates installed. Mess around a little more. Uh, you know. Feel free to ask me my impressions as time goes on. Uh, I'll be happy to uh, share them with you. You can pop into the Discord server at live.perillo.com. Uh, I uh, I've got so I got to spend some time with my device. I'm just going to curl up with a good 
a good device like this, just as long as I don't, you know, smash my, oh, well, it, no, well, I was, I was wondering if it was going to hold on, like, if it was just going to pinch on my nose and stay there, it won't, because my nose is very, I have allergies, and, and I, I, I apologize for abusing your device, LG. <laughs> so uh thanks uh, to lg for for uh providing this to, to to mess around with to to give it a good go um I'm, I'm going to be providing as much feedback as i possibly can uh to them including higher refresh rates that's my number one ask uh but right out of the box uh this looks like a, a solid starter uh thank you everybody for tuning in uh, I'll be back with another, uh, probably a geeky weekend show and tell in another couple of days when, you know, it is the weekend. Uh, I've got all the links for you or what should be in the uh, the video description. And uh, that's really all I, I had to say uh, right now. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you.